This week marks 31 years since the crackdown in China's Tiananmen Square, when troops opened fire on student-led protesters. The topic's still taboo in mainland China, but Hong Kong has held a candlelit vigil every year, often with tens of thousands of people. 2020 will be different. Permission for this year's vigil was denied. Police say they refused the vigil due to the coronavirus. Thursday, June 4th will come a week after Beijing gave the green light to new national security laws for the city. The legislation outlaws secession, sedition and subversion in Hong Kong. Chen Qinghua was a Hong Kong student leader who flew to Beijing in 1989 to support those in the square when Chinese troops opened fire. He says with the new law and what he sees as Beijing's tightening grip on Hong Kong, memories of 1989 are flooding back. I thought I had left this place, but looking at what Hong Kong is like, I feel like I never left Tiananmen because of the danger that Hong Kong is facing. The Tiananmen crackdown is heavily censored inside China. But after Chan survived and took photos on the front line, he feels he has a duty to tell the story. When we were leaving Beijing, the customs officer searched my bag and he looked in and saw the rolls of film. He asked if I took the pictures. I said yes. He asked me if it was of Tiananmen. I said yes. So he said, go, please tell the whole world about this event. Those in Hong Kong who want to mark the Tiananmen crackdown will have to find their own way to do it. Daisy Lam has attended every vigil there since the very first in 1990. I can't be silent. If people tell me to keep silent, I won't. There's always something that I can do. It may not be very powerful, but every bit counts. Online forums and the yearly vigils organiser have called on people to light candles at home to remember those who died in 1989. Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam said Tuesday the restrictions on this year's vigil were not about limiting freedom and that public health is also part of national security. Authorities in the city and Beijing reject criticism of the national security law. They insist Hong Kong's high degree of autonomy will remain intact under its one country, two systems formula.